Caitlin Clark is in the conversation. She ain't going to win it because Asia Wilson there. But Caitlin Clark is in the conversation for league MVP. I don't know if you already know that, but she in the conversation. All of a sudden, Caitlin Clark is starting to push Asia Wilson for MVP of this league, and I am not exaggeration. Is Caitlin Clark actually the MVP, bro? Look, bro, it's a lot of debate. I've seen a lot of channels. i see a lot of dudes, bro. i just be crying laughing at stuff, bro. It'd be funny sometimes, bro. But look, bro, we about to settle this here right now. Once and for all, bro. Y'all, if y'all want to let me know in the comments who y'all think, but let me know in the comments right now. But look, bro, we got to go ahead and settle this because Kaylin is great. Kaylin be really making these WNBA players look like they shouldn't be playing WNBA. The Kaylin Clark games that actually could have won her MVP, I'm not going to lie. I think one of the games was her versus Chicago Sky and Angel Reese when she dropped six threes. Had a crowd chanting her name. I'm talking about she was jumping up and down, doing acting like Steph Curry. She was acting like Steph Curry out there. She was acting silly, all this other stuff. Like, it looked bad for Chicago. I cannot lie. But that was a coming out part. When I seen that, I was like, yeah. That's when the Rookie of the Year thing was over with. Rookie of the Year was over with. Now I'm just talking about it. Then she had that triple double performance. That was the second performance. I was like, she creeping up there in the MVP conversation. I cannot lie. I'm not going to lie. She had that triple double 24 10 and 10 versus Los Angeles. I'm talking about, bro, it looked it kind of easy. The triple double looked easy. Like, she can average a triple double. Like, imagine her averaging a triple double next year. Like, that could be crazy. 24, 10, and 10. I think she had like five threes. Like, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? I, I, these WNBA girls, like, I ain't talking about the big man. The big man in the power forwards, the small forwards, the guards. Guard playing WNBA, bro. Kaylin Clark be eating on him. I'm talking about running through them. I'm talking about on some James Harden shit, nigga. On some feed me, like, step back, cross, hezzy pulls. And then, after, I ain't gonna lie though, before the All Star break though, look, bro, I think one of the main reasons you can't really give Kayla Carter MVP, bro, is because, like, before the All Star break, bro, she, she was, she was averaging like 15 points on like 30% shooting from the three, on like 29, but like five assists. That's, that's terrible. It's, it's terrible. I don't know if I got the stats right, I'll show you on screen, but that's terrible. Like, that's, that's terrible. You can't do that and try to win MVP. I ain't gonna lie. She ain't made a USA team. She was like, okay, that's how I wanna play. Like, that's, that's, that's how y'all feel. That's how I feel. They ESPN, bro, look. I understand ESPN, bro. They want to play both sides. They got Molly and the girls coming on. Saying this and this and this. Angel, Angel, Angel. I don't understand why they want to put Angel against Caitlyn all the time. I, I still don't understand that. But that's a whole nother video for a whole different day. You feel me? But ESPN be trying to like, you know, trying to say USA team spot her. Vengeance. Her, her coming out party. Because after the All-Star break, tripped up. Giving buckets. Angel, you're done. Rookie of the year, over. Rookie of the year? Rookie of the, rookie of the year conversation is over. Y'all is over. Angel hurt. Wrist done. If you want to see a video on that, let me know in the comments as well. But England, Caitlyn came out strong after All-Star break. Like, I ain't gonna lie, you couldn't stop her. She was eating, like, I'm talking about cooking. Making these NBA, WBA guards, like, college guards. But she was cooking. I can't really see her have a 40 ball yet. That's what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on that 40 ball to drop. Man, she should drop a 40 ball in the playoffs. I think it's other players that's actually better than her, like Enrique. I think Enrique and Brianna Stewart is probably and Sabrina. I think, even though I think Caitlyn's stats probably better than Sabrina, I don't think I can put her over Sabrina right now. I just, uh, it's tough. But Enrique, she ain't better than her. I'm sorry. Y'all can say y'all want to She's not better than Enrique. I don't care what numbers look like. She not, matter of fact, better. She not better than Enrique. Enrique averaged 22, 4, and 5. 22, 4, and 5. Caitlyn averaged 19. I would like 2 and 8. Enrique averaged 22, 4, and 5. She ain't better than Enrique, Asia, and Brown. So I got a, I got a fourth. I put a fourth. If y'all want to put in the conversation, even though the conversation is not really a conversation because that girl Asia, is a reason why that girl Asia is, nobody want to talk about the MVP conversation because that girl Asia is, bro, she just broke the scoring record, that being scoring record against Caitlyn. Monkeys, you can't guard her. I'm telling you, you can't guard me. I'm the next greatest of all time, that's what she's telling y'all. I'm the next, I'm the next Tom Brady in my sport. I'm the next Jordan. I ain't going to lie, Asia is different. You got to, it's probably, I'm keeping it 100, bro. Bill Clark can't win MVP. Rookie of the year, she got it. Rookie of the year, she got it. First team. Team over Sabrina. I go second team. She's second team. But Asia's just a whole different breed. Asia trying to win MVP, championship, defensive player of the year. She might have all that lot, though. Cause she got defensive. Asia got defensive player of the year. That's a different breed. But look, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think Asia is clear cut favorite. Clear cut the MVP. Clear, clear, I can't even talk in this video. God damn it. Clear cut MVP done. It's the MVP conversation is over with. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. Let me know if y'all think Kayla is still in the race and could possibly win. Yeah, and they got two games back to back. They just played Asia Smoke. I guess they play again for the playoff start. Let's see what happens. Can Kayla Clark drop a 40 ball and show what she really can do? So what she actually like. I ain't gonna lie. She dropped a 40 ball and Asia don't really do nothing like nine. 18, 18 points. Caitlin Clark drop a 40 ball. We might be talking about some. Let me know in the comments what you think. But I'm saying, next man, no 